autonomous self driving cars are utilizing two main sensors lidar and a camera most of the companies are utilizing both of these at the same time so this lecture is about lidar lidar is more accurate beyond the vision field and it's quite expensive the 3d lidars but we will look into how 2d lidar provided by gazebo and raw simulation is effective how you can utilize it so the lecture is divided into three parts first we will understand the lidar data through our node then we will make changes in the sensor properties and the last thing we will create regions of the lidar scan and detect in which region the object is placed so let's start with launch file and a node we will start with first creating a copy of the camera sensor renaming it to lidar sensor and making a lot of changes in this code because uh, we don't need image we don't need cv bridge so let's run the simulation we are going to run this file but we are not going to be enabling any thing inside of it rosh launch mobile robot turtle bot 3 sensors if we don't enable or camera enable value to true lidar enable value to do this group is not going to run this group is not going to run so let's leave it that way just bring in the simulation so here in the simulation for lidar sensor nothing is apparent but there are actually a lot of things happening we will change the settings and you will see how this lidar sensor looks like but first we need to understand the topic the lidar sensor output topic is mainly scan so ross topic info about the scan topic this is the message type we are going to copy it this is the publisher in our node that we have just created we are going to say that we don't need cv2 at this specific point we are going to say message import laser scan we have a lidar scanner it is going to be scan lidar subscriber its data type is going to be laser scan and it is going to be lidar callback just to have better representation of the code this is going to go inside of this specific function which is going to be simply printing out a lot of things i will just start with size of the data okay i have to rename the node as well for explicit definition of the sensors lidar sensor and here i'm going to say it's camera sensor so lidar sensor is going to be very simple as compared to the camera so if we go into the simulation here bring our terminal right beside it we are going to bring it to always on top clear it ross topic echo the scan topic there are going to be a lot of values but for that i think we should go through the message type ross topic info of the scan ross message show sensor message laser scan that tells us what is going to be printed on the screen the first name is header timestamp frame id then uh, ranges and intensities are the most important thing here you can see ranges and intensities are something that are of a lot of values and they seem to carry out the actual data from the laser scan ross topic echo scan topic now if i bring it here on the side these are continuously publishing values if i put an object around the robot like here it doesn't affect so if i slide it inside of a certain radius the values has changed but a lot of values are still infinity that makes no sense if i rotate or i move this box to this point the values has shifted if i again move the box to this point the values have shifted and then if i bring here the values has shifted so there is some sort of circle around the robot that is generating these values right still it doesn't make any sense to understand the lidar data we will first create a subscriber for it so let's go to our node it is just printing out the length of the data okay just before running in our node we have something that is not going to work let me show you why and this is important thing for people who are starting out if i run this node here it is going to give me errors and the reason for errors is i have to understand the message type ross message show sensor message laser scan if you look at it this hole is data and i am just getting length of this whole thing it doesn't make sense i am just interested in the length of ranges so i would say data dot ranges because ranges is the member of whole data message i'm interested in that's it 
let's now run the LiDAR sensor node that prints the length of ranges. And here you can see 360 value has been selected. Okay, this still doesn't make sense. But what it actually tells us, let me show you again. If I perform echo, it is saying that the values of this ranges array are total 360 in number. I can perform some other things on contrary to length. I can say max, give me the maximum value and run the node that I have. It is going to give me maximum value, which is infinity. But if I put something around my robot, obviously infinity is the maximum value. I have to change the logic to minimum because infinity is the maximum value. The minimum value is going to be something closer to it. Let me delete it. It has changed to 0 0.85 to this point. If I delete it, infinity is the minimum value. If I put something right here, it is going to generate the minimum value because infinity is the maximum and every ray is infinity. But still, to some extent, we now understand the data. We can manipulate the data, but still we lack some understanding of this data. To get better grip, we need to understand the settings or parameters available for LiDAR sensor plugin. LiDAR sensor properties are simpler than the camera. There are three major things that you need to tune in the URDF. The first one is visualize enable. That tells us what our robot is actually looking at from the sensor perspective. And the second one is span area. The third one is increasing the laser scan range from one meter, two meter, three meter, and so on. Let's see how we can make the changes and uh, understand the results. I have made some changes in the callback function, which prints out multiple things. What I will do now, I will launch this launch file that contains camera and LiDAR sensor, but I will now add enable to be true so that it prints out the prints that I have added inside of this node. It says maximum distance to a value is infinity and minimum distance to the value is none but if i bring the simulation here and put something this is going to generate some minimum and maximum value i don't know why okay for the maximum i have to put the max but this lidar node is running with the simulation that's what our main aim was the thing is we are going to go deep inside of the settings available here in the turtle bot 3 description package which i showed you in the previous camera video how you can obtain it in the urdf we discovered that we are using TurtleBot 3 Waffle Pi Gazebo Zacro that contains the camera plugin. So in this specific Zacro file, we have a plugin which is libgazeboroslaser.so. This is the laser scanner plugin. Previously, we went through this camera plugin of Gazebo, but this simulation for laser scanner is this one. For some people who have the GPU enabled, they have to type gpu underscore ray to make it work otherwise it is not going to work we can define the name of the topic we want it to publish and the frame name for the transform where it is connected let's talk about its properties which are the most interesting thing for this lecture the first thing i will be doing is going to manually set it to true for you to better understand and look at what is happening update frequency can be changed i'm not going to do it you saw the number 360 values this is the 360 rays that are being published i'm going to change it to 20 okay for now for your understanding let's leave minimum angle and maximum angle is 2 pi total 360 degree or i would say 2 pi along the robot i'll show you what does this means okay the closest distance will change these values as well but for now we just need to understand we have set visualize true and number of samples to be true let me run this simulation here you can see we have the robot and there is blue circle around it these all are basically lidar scans and interestingly this blue color picks how much the range is we have reduced from 360 to 20 so you need to understand it this is number one line this is number two line this is number three line whenever if i bring this up there is a maximum and minimum value which is set to infinity the thing you need to understand if i put something that touches this line the minimum distance gets printed okay currently the minimum distance is 3.29 if i put something here very close to the robot 
the value changes to 0.82 because this is the closest one and it turns dark blue. These lines are actually measuring the distance to the object and their quantity is 20 because I have manually set it to 20 and you can easily distinguish between count them it is 20. Let me close it. Let me stop the simulation. Now I am going to increase it to 720 and let me add this as well. This is going to print the number of rays. The next thing 720 and I am going to say reduce it to just pi which is 3.14 not 360. Let's run this simulation again. We have set the output to screen because we want things of this node to be printed on the terminal screen. If we take a look on the gazebo simulation you can easily understand what is happening. There are rays a lot of rays but they are limited from 0 to 180 because i have set the angle from 0 to 3.14 that's why they are in 180 degree but the important thing is you can see these small blue lines these are number of rays that i have decided and the total number of rays are 720 as i have mentioned inside of the samples and they all are inside of this 180 degree semicircle but the problem is you can see if i move the robot in the forward motion the laser scanner has been set on the right side which causes problem in the simulation let me close this and bring the simulation back here i am going to bring it back to 360 i don't need that much samples so the next thing is increasing the range if i increase it to 10 and minimum to be one then uh, things are going to go way bigger but that's the last change we are going to make run the simulation and observe what we have done this is the noise that you can add in the ray and uh, that's the last setting we need to do so what i have done i have increased the radius or the range of the rays and also increased the minimum angle which is greater than one meter in radius which is a lot if i bring the terminal and bring the simulation on side if i put something here although it is touching on the outside if i reduce the size it is not going to affect it is saying that we have no obstacle in our way because the inner radius is a lot and this is scanning after the inner radius but if i put this in any of the line it calculates the distance and gets the minimum value so basically what lidar is doing it is calculating the distance to any object that is near but still we are unable to utilize this much data because wherever we put an obstacle we get a minimum value till now we have done the part one that is detecting an obstacle and detecting the distance to the obstacle the second part and the important one is where is the obstacle how to take action around the obstacle this is what we have to decide let's see how we can do that so basic functionality of a lidar sensor is to detect an obstacle but how can we get the information about the object's position where is the object so we will now create some regions in which we will detect if the object is is in region a region b or region c so we can create our decision making algorithms work we are going to be printing our lidar data ranges but in a specific indexes 0 to 120 they can be total to 0 to 360 but we are saying just 0 to 180 sort of segmenting a specific part so let's print it out or i should also write minimum value of this segment data ranges from 0 to 120 minimum value of it i'm going to run the simulation and i'm going to run this node as well So here we have the robot and uh, it is printing infinity because nothing is inside of that 120 index. If I put something here, it's still infinity. The reason is it is not inside of that 0 to 120 index. If I put something here, this is also not in 120 index. If I put something here, the values have started to change. The reason is 120 index starts somewhere, but this lies in between. If I put something here, the values has changed. If I delete this, it doesn't matter. If I delete this, it's again going to start printing infinity. So 120 reigns start from, I think this point to this point, because if I put something here, it gives some value. If I move a little bit, it starts to print infinity. But if I move a little bit, it doesn't matter. Next, 
you can see some of the lines are hitting this is the point from this point it's still infinity so this is 120 region so we have extracted a region out of it this is going to be very helpful the next region if i want to print it out i could say let's not perform the program in this manner we are directly going to write the names region a is going to be minimum value of data ranges from this to this and we are going to create three different regions as we are dividing it for 120 difference that is going to be from 240 and 241 to 360 three different regions we are creating a b c then we are going to print all of these regions step by step I have applied round function as well if I hover the mouse it says it rounds a value to a given precision in decimal as you can see this is a big big decimal value I have just reduced it to these three digit value okay let me clear it and I am going to run this node bring the simulator and I am going to delete this box this one and this one all of them are going to be infinity right if I bring a box here it's inside of region number A if I slide this box to here it's inside of region number C and if I bring the box here it's inside of region number B so we have divided all of the things inside of regions and this is going to be really useful let me show you a blog post of the construct and they have provided an algorithm to perform follow wall algorithm that robot is going to be performing following of the wall with this strategy dividing into different regions and applying some logic saving it in a dictionary and they have created i think of total 713 rays and they have divided in a certain way they have applied minimum of minimum which is useful let me show you why if we apply minimum that is going to work but if i apply another minimum about it which is going to give me another abstraction for example that means this is going to generate a minimum value right we have to then compute is this minimum or is this minimum this is only useful for the infinity case let me show you how if i stop the node clear it up and run it again you can see that the minimum value for the a region is 10 and if i delete this box other two are infinity but the a is 10 because of this another minimum added it's really useful if i add 0 1 or something that i want to write it is going to print it but it should be the maximum value we want to deal with that's what is going to be here as it is going to be compared with infinity currently what is happening in this one the maximum value is infinity so it gets the minimum value which is 10 and then it moves forward that's what happening you can do a lot of things here you can write if conditions that if region a is less than 4 greater than 4 like the conditions written here inside of this wall follow behavior you can understand them and write for your own projects according to the requirements it is going to be really useful once you have these regions you can write your wall following algorithm as i just showed you you can write obstacle avoiding and level up your game to 3d lidar sensor and utilize point clouds for your applications possibilities are endless but you need to start from this small understanding and then build up step by step